Hey. Oh, no, 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 Vomitox. No, no, Vomitox. <laughs> Don't worry, I had a dry clean. Vomitox? Who vomited on... You know what? What'd you have to, Joe? Well, I'm doing this uh, telethon thing on TV, and my agent got me a job as co-host. Oh, that's hey, great! Yeah, a little uh, good deed for PBS, plus some TV exposure. Now, that's the kind of math Joey likes to do. <laughs> oh, PBS. What's wrong with PBS? Oh, what's right with them? Why don't you like PBS, Phoebe? Okay, because right after my mom killed herself, I was just in this really bad place, you know, personally. So, I just thought that it would make me feel better if I wrote to Sesame Street, because they were so nice when I was a little kid. No one ever wrote back. Well, you know, a lot of those Muppets don't have thumbs. All I got was a lousy keychain, and by that time I was living in a box. I didn't have keys. I'm sorry, Phoebes. I just, you know, I just wanted to do a good deed, like, like you did with the babies. This isn't a good deed. You just want to get on TV. This is totally selfish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about you having those babies for your brother? Talk about selfish. What, what are you talking about? Uh, well, yeah, it was a really nice thing and all, but it made you feel really good, right? Yeah, so? Well, it made you feel good, so that makes it selfish. Look, there's no unselfish good deeds, sorry. Yes, there are. There are totally good deeds that are selfless. Well, may I ask for one example? Yeah, it's, you know, there's... No, you may not. That's because all people are selfish. Are you calling me selfish? Are you calling you people? <laughs> yeah, well, sorry to burst that bubble, Phoebes, but selfless good deeds don't exist. Okay? And you know the deal on Santa Claus, right? I'm gonna find a selfless good deed. I'm gonna beat you, you evil genius. Hey, Joey, when you said the deal with Santa Claus, you meant... That he doesn't exist. Right. Ooh. I can't find a selfless good deed. You know that really old guy that lives next door to me? Well, I snuck over there and, and raked up all the leaves on his front stoop, but he caught me and he, like, force-fed me cider and cookies. And then I felt wonderful. That old jackass. But maybe Joey's right. Maybe the, all good deeds are selfish. I will find a selfless good deed, because I just gave birth to three children, and I will not let them be raised in a world where Joey is right. PBS telethon. Hey, Joey. I just uh, wanted to let you know that I found a selfless good deed. I went down to the park, and I let a bee sting me. <laughs> What is that going to do anybody? Well, it helps the bee look tough in front of his bee friends. <laughs> the bee is happy, and I am definitely not. Now, you know, the bee probably died after he stung you. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> PBS telethon. Hi, Joey. Hey, Phoebes. I would like to make a pledge. I would like to donate $200. Two hundred dollars? You sure, Phoebes? I mean, after what Sesame Street did to you? Oh, I'm still mad at them. But I also know that they bring happiness to lots of kids whose moms didn't kill themselves. <laughs> you know, so by supporting them, I'm doing a good thing, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> so, they're a selfless good deed. All right, and you don't feel a little good about donating the money? No, it sucks. I was saving up to buy a hamster. A hamster? But those things are like ten bucks. Yeah, not the one I had my eye on. <laughs> it looks like we have surpassed last year's pledge total. Thank you, viewers. <laughs> and the pledge that did it was taken by one of our volunteers. Oh, boy. And may I say, one of our sharpest dressed volunteers, <laughs> Mr. Joseph Triviani.